I think one of the biggest unanswered questions about the Disney Cars diecast line is why did Mattel just stop making the Mia and Tia's from the Cars tune shorts, you know, Mater's Tall Tales and all that. They did three versions from two shorts and were like, yeah, kind of done with that. Of course, Dalmatian Mia and Tia from Rescue Squad Mater and actually then Nurse Mia and Tia also appeared later in that short. And that was the first short they ever made. And then Mater the Greater Mia and Tia from, of course, Mater the Greater. Al Mater Door, the Senorita Mia and Tia's, we had to resort to the Disney store. <laughs> yeah, for those to be made. And that's saying a lot when you have to resort to the Disney store. And then obviously Tokyo Mater and Out, they were like, yeah, we're not going to make those. So thankfully, as always, customizers save the day. Daryl Design is the victim yet again. He customized these, so thank you to him. Big thanks, seriously. And also, big thanks to whoever commissioned him originally to do this. I'm kind of riding the coattails of that because I actually didn't initiate this one for once, and I really should, you know. I really should just be like, oh my gosh. Anything that Mattel hasn't made that appeared in one of the movies, shorts, books, whatever, video games, I will buy it. I really am serious about that. But yeah, guys, let's get right into it here. Super happy with these, seriously. But yeah, there they are in the short. Now, I understand a little bit why they didn't do these. Aramator was one of the last shorts, actually, that Disney and Pixar released. I think, what was the last one? Time Travel Mater was officially the last one, but I really think that's kind of on its own because of the fact that there's no Mia and Tia in those, or in that short, and the Disney Parks actually did the diecast for that, through Mattel, of course, but that one's just kind of a special short, but really, I think Private Eye Mater and then this one were the true kind of finales to Cars Tunes, and they just stopped making them as soon as El Matador came out. So anyways, we're going to start here. Let's see who's who. So this is Tia. Let's go alphabetically with Mia. Very nice. You've got the M logo there directly off of, or kind of emulating Mater Hawk's design. You have like the M that he bears and then kind of the triangular design. Really, really nicely done. I'm not sure what Mia and Tia he used here. Let's see. All right, he used the Thailand version. Huh. What did he use? I don't believe Mattel has made just a regular Thailand Mia and Tia. I know they did the Waitress Mia and Tia's. We have the Superfan Mia and Tia's in that Vietnam 11 pack I just reviewed. Huh. I'm very stumbled right now. I'm stumped, actually. I'm stumbled and I'm stumped. Huh. I'll have to ask him about that because he could have used the Waitress versions, but I would have thought there would have been difficulty because of the trays that are attached to them and the hats as well. Maybe I'm just blanking. Maybe they did do a Mia and Tia. Oh, yes, they did Dinoco Mia and Tia. There we go. I got it. I figured it out, guys. Don't worry. So anyway, he did make the rims red, which is a great touch. You have the Falcon Hawks logo there on the side, which is super cool that he was able to replicate that because, I mean, that's very difficult. Check it out here on Mater's helmet. See how small it is. I really don't know how he replicated it. I think I was able to find some good pictures and high quality that he was able to use to help with that, but still very impressive. Here it is on one of the Falcon Hawks themselves. I like the silver windows there. Kind of looks like they're in like a superhero costume because of like the blue mask. <laughs> You have the flags right there that say Mater Hawk with the little bolt through it. Mia. Very nice. Just a gorgeous custom here. So grateful to have these and can't wait to put them with my Air Mater cars. So here you have Tia. Now obviously these decals are going to be the exact same aside from the license plate. So not much to really talk about there, but still very, very nicely done. And he even put... Well, his initials, my initials, <laughs> works out pretty well for that, doesn't it? DD. Although I think I might be changing my channel name in the near future. And this is the first time I think I've actually said that publicly. So surprise, surprise, 
I won't ever remove Docket from the name, but Disney might have to go because I want to be very original. You know, I don't want to be attached to anything, any copyrighted brand or company like Cars, Pixar, Disney, etc., etc. So maybe something else, Docket, still in the works. I've really been thinking about it for over a year now. But anyways, before we, you know, kind of sign off, of course, we need to do our comparisons. So I have the regular Mia and Tia here. These are the Chinese versions from a long time ago. I'm not sure. I don't think these are the original releases, but I always find it interesting that they literally type out the exact model that they are. And usually you don't see that. Like they never just put on their Mazda MX-5 Miata. Like that is super unique to Mia and Tia. Usually if it's like a copyrighted or like a real car model from real life, they'll just put like at Chevrolet or like, trademark Chevrolet rather like with Ramon I think you know because he's a Chevrolet Impala with uh, the Fiat models same exact thing but for them to literally put and like when they do that it'll be as a part of the base like the other text you see on there like Disney Pixar China down there they will not make it a stamp like the date stamp in white like this is super unique to them like they don't even do that anymore like, for example, here, like I said, you use a Dynaco Mia and Tia, and so now they just literally engrave it into the base Mazda Miata trademark. So, again, interesting about that. Fun, fast facts for you guys today. Will Mia and Tia be in cars on the road? I really hope so. The fact that they weren't in Cars 3 is a travesty. Honestly, one of the reasons I kind of am um, salty about Cars 3 is because of the lack of adherence to the values and standards of the Cars franchise being Kachow. Like, literally, McQueen does not say Kachow. Like, what the heck, man? Chick Hicks has to say it. And if he didn't, it wouldn't have been said at all in the movie. So, yeah, they didn't do that. No Van and Minnie, no Mia and Tia. Majorly bummed about both of those things, both of those lacks of appearances. Here we have the Chick Hicks, Mia, and Tia. I wanted to show them because they have the C's on top, so you can kind of see you know, what a different type of Mia and Tia would look like with accessories. Same type of deal here with the Mater, the greater Mia and Tia's. These are actually my favorite versions of me and T. I love just how they look and the toe hooks in the back. They also have different expressions, which is pretty rare. I think most me and T's have the same exact expression. And these ones are exceptions to that, along with the Dalmatian ones here. I'll get to in a moment. You know what? I'm really kind of vibing with this right now. I really want to get all the Mia and Tia's from the shorts. Really wouldn't be that hard. You know, what you'd have to do for the Tokyo Mater ones, you'd have to get some Sukis because those spoilers that Suki has on her roof, for example, I'm pretty sure it would almost match the spoilers that Mia and Tia have on their trunks, basically. So instead of them being on the roof like Suki, they would just go back on the trunk. For... Monster Truck Mater, I've actually seen someone attempt this. I don't think they ever finished the project though, but you would just need some cowboy hats. Almost like these pretty much, just not fireman helmets. But yeah, these have slightly different expressions as well. It's just very hard to tell. But yeah, you can see it there. Slightly more narrowed on whoever this is. Hmm, it doesn't even say, it just says... Group one and two. Huh. Groupie. I think that's the only me and Tia that doesn't indicate their names via license plate. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, shout out to Daryl Design for making these amazing customs. Very happy with them. And they look great with the rest of the Mater Hawk, Falcon Hawk, whatever. He took it over. It's the Mater Hawk squad now. But yeah, it looks great with the rest of them. And I'll see you guys soon for another video. Bye now.